Once the second biggest cannabis stock by market cap, Aurora Cannabis has suffered more than any other company in the industry over the past 18 months as the stock has come crashing down since making a string of terrible decisions including overpriced acquisitions, excessive stock dilution and overproduction issues. The stock is now 90% from its all-time high, having been abandoned by its once adoring investors. Be greedy when others are fearful is an age-old stock market saying, and I wonder if Aurora is the perfect example of where to apply this piece of stock market wisdom, or is the company a sinking ship? Knowing the answer to this question could make investors a lot of money, so let's try and figure it out. The first reason to take a risk on Aurora Cannabis then is the fact that Aurora has one of the largest marijuana growing capacities in the world. The company has production, export agreements and research ongoing in over 25 countries giving the business more international exposure than every other cannabis company in the world. Secondly, the management responsible for the poor decisions that have plagued the company have now left the business and the new executive team have made wise decisions and financial progress by slashing expenses and reducing cash burn. The third reason is the fact that Aurora's overproduction of cannabis was partly caused by Canada's lottery system for awarding dispensaries with licenses. The Canadian regulator recently replaced this system and this has allowed retail dispensaries to shoot up from 24 to 150 over the past 12 months. Reason number four is because Aurora has the largest share in the Canadian medicinal cannabis sector. Margins for medicinal marijuana are better than retail cannabis, therefore as the medicinal market grows, Aurora's overall margins will improve faster than their peers. The fifth reason to consider buying Aurora is due to how vocal they've been about pivoting towards supplying cannabis 2.0 products, including edibles, beverages and topicals, as these higher margin products should be able to help Aurora reach profitability sooner. There are two more reasons I would consider Aurora Cannabis, starting with the results of the recent US election, which should accelerate the legalization of cannabis in the states, and this should provide a tailwind to the entire cannabis sector. Lastly, Aurora is cheaper than almost all of its peers on a price to sales ratio. The cannabis industry currently has razor thin margins, yet as the industry matures, companies will get better at managing production, and this will benefit Aurora thanks to their large amount of revenue. Before you go and buy shares in Aurora Cannabis, it's important to consider the stock is extremely risky and here are some reasons why. Firstly, Aurora is the least profitable cannabis company out there right now based on earnings per share and free cash flow. Right now, the company has around $150 million in cash and investments versus $500 million in liabilities, which leaves Aurora genuinely at risk of going bankrupt as they walk this tightrope. Another huge cause for concern is that over the past five years, the company has consistently issued more shares to fund their expansion and due to their current financial problems, it's likely Aurora will continue to raise money via future share offerings at the expense of their shareholders. Another issue that Aurora is facing is that for some time the company has focused on becoming the largest producer of dried cannabis products. However, unfortunately for Aurora, this area of the cannabis sector is struggling most with competition from the black market. This will become less of a problem as Aurora pivots towards edibles and beverages. However, they will be taking on stiff competition in this area from Canopy and Afria, which both have better finances than Aurora. In fact, Aurora's woeful finances has meant the company has had to reduce R&D spending by 66% and this will no doubt hinder Aurora's future growth and allow their competitors to rapidly outgrow them over the next 12 to 24 months. There you go, there's certainly a lot to consider before investing in a company like Aurora Cannabis. I've listed six very large risks associated with the company above and quite frankly, I could have kept going. Therefore, investors with a low risk appetite should probably avoid Aurora, at least until the company can prove that they're out of trouble and profitability is in sight. If, however, you are willing to take calculated risks, then buying shares of Aurora, while sentiment remains extremely low, could well be a very lucrative move because despite the risks associated with this stock, the reward potential is huge if Aurora can get its act together, starting with a potential 1,200% increase back to all-time highs. I hope you enjoyed the video and before you go please click the like button, it takes just a second whereas this video did take me quite a long time and hopefully it can save you or make you some money. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos and check out my website tradingplaces.com for loads of free trading ideas and remember that your money should be working for you and not the other way around.